Hello everyone and welcome. And as you know, that at the sound of the trumpet that means it's time to begin. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter for the next hour. Please welcome from the stockswish.com. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much, everyone at Online Trader Central. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. Today's lecture is going to be about making six figures a year trading the open. And we're going to talk about the open. This is a very specific time of the day in the stock market. We will be talking about the U.S. stock market. This is about trading stocks and trading stocks into the open. If you would like more information, you can feel free to email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. You can also go to my Twitter site, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype and add me at any one of these places if you'd like more information. So today's lecture is going to be about the open and particularly about trading. And if you're looking at making this kind of money a year, six figures a year, you could possibly trade for a career if this is what you want to do, or you could do it as a part-time thing and still make this kind of money on the side. So, you know, I, I meet a lot of people. I live in New York, and it's so interesting when I meet people, I always say, what do you do for a living? You know that the happiest people are people that have a career that they love. So right now, I want you to think about this. You're by yourself, you're alone, you're at your office, all right, you're at home. Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your career? When you get up in the morning and you get up out of bed, are you excited about the day? Are you happy? Do you look like these people? Okay. I enjoy trading. I enjoy what I do. And I think it makes a big, big difference if you have a career that you love or one that you don't. Having a happy life has a lot to do with your career choice because we all spend time out of our lives, Monday through Friday. Some people work weekends. Working. You have to work to support yourself, whatever you do, whether it's trading or a regular job. And so the quality of our life, the, how we feel, how we communicate with people, whether we're smiling, whether we're happy, has a lot to do with your career choice because you spend a lot of time, you know, in your career and what you're doing. And if you don't like what you're doing for career, sometimes you can end up being unhappy and this reflects in other things, your relationship, your finances, all of the other parts of your life. It all goes together in having a happy balance. So trading is one of these things where maybe you might consider a, a doing this for career as a career change. And really, trading, uh, having a trading career is a lifestyle choice because you do not have to work set hours every day as a trader. The market's open 9.30 to 4, but you would not necessarily have to be there every minute of the day from 9.30 to 4, and I actually am not. And the strategy we're going to talk about this morning sets up in the open. It happens really quickly into the open, and you're only training that period into the open. So a training career has a lot of potential, not just for the short hours, but also unlimited income. And of course, this is something that everybody wants. They want the potential. Lots of people have careers now where they're used to getting uh, overtime or cost of living raises, and companies just aren't giving them anymore. They just are not giving them anymore, and you have to st kind of start looking elsewhere for more income potential to get where you want to be with your life. This is uh, my message. This is a big message that I have, and it's really what I call the wave of the future. It's taking charge of your own life, deciding that you want to do something. And the great thing about the stock market is it's a vehicle that's open and available to anyone to trade from any walk of life. You do not have to live in the United States to trade the market. If you have money and you want to learn how to trade, you can do it, and you can do it. This is the wave of the future is taking it upon yourself to empower yourself to do something to make more money for yourself and instead of relying on a different company, instead of relying on a boss, instead of relying on an employer, which we don't have the same reliability as we did 10, 20, 30 years ago. You know, 30 years ago, people went to a job, they worked at a job, they got a pension, they were there for a long time, they were valuable to the companies that employed them. This, this is not the way the world is anymore, okay? We have to take charge of our own life and our own finances. We have to be forward thinking, and this is one of my messages, okay? You have to get to a place where you realize that and you want to create the future for yourself. And the great thing about trading in the market is that you can do it. So let's talk here about six figures. Six figures a year, how? How can you make this kind of money? A hundred grand a year or more, how can you make this in the market? Well. It's a new method. It's a method that I've created to make money trading. There's a new method to trade the open that will give you a profit edge. Okay? So that means you would make more trading this period of the day than you would even sitting at your desk for six hours. 
There's a lot of momentum that happens into the open of stocks on the day. The open means right into 9.30, right into 9.30, between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Many traders do not trade this period, this quick time of the day, because they're waiting for confirmation. They're waiting for what I call confirmation, confirmation of the intraday trend, whether the stock's going to be a long or short, before they trade it which means many traders wait till after 10 o'clock. But what if you had a new method to get the confirmation before 9.30, before the open happens, before it even does anything, before the stock market even opens? What if you had a method to get the confirmation before it so you knew what to watch and so you could trade that period? Well, this is how I trade. It's a new method that I do. I personally trade it. It is trading gaps, and I am reading the gap before the stock market opens to determine what to do for the directional bias of the stock on the day or the market. Now, I've clipped here a chart of the QQQs. I've read this market extremely well, okay? One of the reasons I've been able to do that consistently is because I am reading the market gaps. The market had a bullish gap here. Now, for those of you that don't know what a gap is, we're gonna, well, I'm just going to briefly go over it. And for those of you that do, you're just going to get a review here. This is the chart of the QQQs. Okay, we're going back here to May. Market rallied up here a little bit over, booped over $90. A gap is when a stock closes or the market, you can do this with ETFs too, at a certain price one day, which should be 4 o'clock Eastern time. It opens the next day at a different price. So the market gapped up this day. It opened at 9.30 Eastern time, then the next day after this day here. You can see where it closed at 90 something and then gapped up the next day to 91 something. That's a gap. Gaps can be big, gaps can be small. Again, stocks and ETFs can gap. This is a QQQs. So the QQQs gap up, okay, this is a market ETFs, had a rally on the day that took this market up to new highs. Now, there were other gaps in here, too. There's a few other ones as well, okay? Here's one as well. These are all bullish gaps. There's another bullish gap in the market. There's one, there's one, there's one, okay? Now, today, the market gapped down. We closed today, though, green. I don't know the exact uh, price that we closed today, but I know we closed green. And in the morning when I saw the market where we were gapping, I said, we're going we're gonna to hold, meaning we're going to rally. We're going to hold and that the down gap was going to actually rally. So how do, am I able to figure this out when these ones are going to go in the opposite direction or when they will go in the right direction? How am I able to do that? Well, I have a method to do that. And this is important because if you do not train something in the correct direction, you won't make any money as a trader. And obviously, you need to make money. So the importance of the open happens right at the beginning of the time frame. But I'm getting the information that is giving me the confirmation when I see the market or the stock gap. Now, the importance of the open is that professionals are taking positions in and out of the open. This is the most important thing about the open in existence. This is why this time of the day matters. This is why you can make six figures a year trading this time of the day. And if you know how to trade it, you can do extremely well. It is something that a lot of people don't know how to do well and will never know how to do well, quite frankly. There will, there will, this will always be, and it always has been, and it will always be a time of the day that is for professionals. Now, as one individual, you're a person, you can still trade with the professionals like a professional and take what you do when you're trading very seriously. You don't have to go get a job at J.P. Morgan Chase as a professional trader at a trading desk in order to act and trade like a professional. The beauty of what your choices are, what you can do, is that you can trade from home, but you think and act like a professional and trade like they do and think about what they're doing. Because those traders, those big traders, those professionals are the ones that are making the moves that you make money on. So the importance of the open is, number one, it's traded by professionals. Okay, that's the time of the day when they're in it. Meaning that hedge funds, trading desks, banks, institutions, they are buying stocks into the open or they are selling stocks into the open or they are shorting stocks into the open. It is being traded by professionals, large, large money. Also, setups have good risk to reward with small stops, or the smallest stop you're going to get in a stock of the day. Some, some stocks are expensive or spready, and they, they will have the smallest stop possible okay, that a stock could have. For example, Coors had a move today. There was a gap today. It was the smallest stop that that stock could have had. It was a spready stock. 
but you get a good entry, meaning a good risk reward, and we're going to talk about that later if you trade and take the position into the open. It also tells you immediately if a stock will have momentum and volatility. Again, this is something that I teach. You have to learn how to read this. This is how you know whether to stick with it or whether it's going to be a bust and it's not going to work and it's going to flatline and not go anywhere and not have any movement. The only way you can make money as a trader if a stock moves. Also, into the open, the importance of the open is it tells you the directional bias, whether it will play out correctly or fail. Like, for example, the QQQs, it gapped down this morning, but flipped and rallied. It was a bearish gap, but it failed as a bearish gap and rallied as a long. If you bought the market today, that was the right thing to do. It was the correct directional bias, and you made money, but you were buying a down gap. So you have to learn how to read these ones, whether they're going to work correctly in the direction of the gap or fail. So the main point about trading the open and why it's possible to make a lot of money doing this is that professionals trade it. Professionals trade it with power of money. They have a lot of money. They're making the moves. They're doing it. You get in as it sets up. So what happens? The professionals trade it. They do their thing. They buy the stock. You get in when the stock sets up into the open. The power of money moves your trade in the right direction. You determine it's going to go per the 26-point rating system, which is the system and method that I've created to trade this part of the day, to know what stocks should look at to trade it. You let the power of money move your trade. Then you're out money quickly. And you're also out fairly fast because these stocks have very momentum moves. And what you do is you really ride the coattails of the big money, and then you get paid by it. You are not going to move a stock. You need that power of money to move the stock. You need the professionals to move the stock. That's what's so great about taking a position into this time of the day, because professionals are moving the stocks. In fact, sometimes if you go, and the summer is a good time to do this, actually, you can go and look at, you know, 50 stocks, 100 stocks. People say, well, I like to trade this summer. I love to trade this summer. July was a great month. August is going to be a great month. Summer is a time to trade the method that I trade into the open because that's when people are doing stuff. People are still doing stuff. Institutions, hedge funds are still moving stocks. They're still in positions. They're still there in the market. Okay, But you'll see stocks kind of like flatline sometimes after 12 o'clock or in the afternoon, particularly in the summer. There's really nothing to do. And so that's why, again, this is another strategy you could do for a living because you could trade it from January to December, okay? You could trade it from January to December because you are trading into the open. Lots of times they call it the summer doldrums. There's nothing to do in the afternoon. But if you trade the open, you're done quick, you're making the money, and then you're out. So trading the open gives you an edge. Why? Because of the professionals. Professionals take positions in and out of stocks during this period. If you learn how to trade it, you will have a huge edge in your trading. If you wait until it's over, you may miss the move, okay? If you wait until the open's over, if you wait until it's done, you may miss it. You may miss the move that the, that the professionals make. They may be done. They bought everything you wanted to buy, that's it. Or they sold everything you wanted to sell, that's it. If you wait, you won't get the risk reward as well, okay? And if you wait, you may miss the entire move. If you want to make money like a professional, $100,000 a year or more, then you need to learn to trade in that time frame with those people, with the professionals, acting like a professional, with the amount of risk that you can take per your account, but you're trading, thinking like a big trader, like a professional, with them, reading what they're doing. Because you're just riding their coattails, and that's how you can make money doing it. Most individual traders have no idea no clue how to trade this time frame or do it wrong. And most traders who are trading the market for 5, 10, 20, 30 years, I'm, uh, I've talked to people who have been trading for so long that don't know how to trade this time of the day correctly. Uh, PS PCLN I did not even look at today. I can look at it when we're done, JT. Didn't even look at it. I can read the open, trade it, and call it extremely well. This is a skill I have mastered in the method and system I use to trade. And it gives me an edge to read these professional moves, okay? So I, I'm good at doing this. I mean, this is why I'm doing it, making money doing it, and I'm teaching people to do it. I'm very good at reading it. I'm good at calling in a live time, and I'm good at trading it. And let me tell you something. People also shy away from this time of the day because it happens in a very short time frame, but that allows you to make the money quickly, okay? So that's the plus about it. I think on my feet, okay, so I can read it right away, but I also know what I'm looking for. I know like way ahead of time what I'm looking for. I know what to look for, what the resistance is, what the support is for the stock, what stock candidate I'm watching, and that's how I'm able to call it so well. And all of this comes down to the fact that I'm reading price. I'm reading price, and, and this is a skill. I mean, this is a skill. A lot of people talk about stuff they want to learn. They want to learn how to trade 
I'll get to the examples a little bit, KW. They want to learn how to trade, okay, but they 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 want to read books. They want to they want to trade. People want to they, people take their money and just go right into the market and start trading. You know, you've got to gain that skill. It's a skill that you gain. Now, whether or not you gain it in a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or a couple of months is up to your aptitude and how well you can follow me and learn what I do. But it's certainly something that you can do. Now, KW wanted some examples. Here's an example of Starbucks. This was a bearish gap down. It was a gap down that happened on July 25th. I did not short it. I did not short it. I did not buy it. It was a gap down failure. It's what I call a failure. Here is this stock trading into the open, okay? Again, I know how to reprice. The stock opened here, rallied up first, dropped, broke the low. I'm sure some people shorted this, and then some people bought this. How do I know people shorted this? It went red. How do I know people bought this? Did a double bottom here, rally, rallied over the high, came down, and then it rallied up. But the stock ended up trading and closing on the day with a bottoming tail and a topping tail and no body, a very small body that was a greenish color. It was a gap down. The correct directional bias would be to look at this as a, as a gap down, it was not a good gap down per the 26-point rating system I use. And then when you see it immediately in the open, boom, I tell right away it's a failure. Stock should not have done this the way that it's set up on the daily chart. It should not have done this, okay? So poof, didn't even do anything with this. So you don't waste your bullets and you don't waste any time. It was a failure, and I, I knew it was going to fail before I, the market even opened. And then I saw it in the open and, and, and didn't do anything with it. I saw it was immediate failure, okay? But... You see and rate the gap in the stock before the open to know if it's going to be good or not. And in this case, then, of course, it never set up. You don't do anything with it. Now, here's an example of an open uh, that was a bullish open. This is a bullish gap that was a quality open. This is INTC. This is back on the 16th of July. The stock opened, gapped up, closed the night before down here at 3170, opened up here at 3330. Nice bullish gap, open rally. This is confirming the bullish directional bias for the professionals of the day of INTC. So you can watch and wait and you get the confirmation here that you can buy the stock of the day. Okay? This is a good chart, by the way. This is a, this is a good bullish chart, by the way, INTC, for the longer term. And then here's the course. We're talking about this earlier. Again, Watched cores this morning, immediate confirmation, dropped, ran down, rallied up, set up again, and broke, went all the way down, went to basically what would have been the dream target of the stock of the day. Again, you can get out of these by 10 o'clock, or you could stay in them till they keep, if they keep going. I mean, it's up to you. But you are watching the open to determine where to get in, to know. How do you know? you got to know to watch, for example, course. And you would look at it in the morning before this even goes here. And then you would see immediately right away and you do it. And you take the trade. Uh, the procedure for scanning is, JT is asking a procedure for scanning. You can buy a scanner if you want, uh, or you can just use the scanner on your platform. I actually don't buy a scanner. So, I, and I manually do it. If you're asking me if I input everything into a thing and boop, 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 no, I manually do it with my eyes because I have a really good eye read on things. Uh, if you want to put everything into a scanner and buy a scanner, you'd have to program everything in. You'd have to do that. I, I don't personally do that. I just do it manually with my eye. So, a common sense strategy is what gaps are because... The fact that they're trading with large institutional money, the fact that professionals are making them. That is what's making the gap in the first place, the professionals. And then you're you're getting the follow-through into the open of what the professionals are doing. The professional gaps that happen in plan and stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large in institutional money. So therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to read and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side, and then you play it when you get the setup. Gaps are an event. They create a sense of urgency. We got to get out of this thing. We got to sell this thing. Whatever happened, a CEO quit. There was a downgrade. Bad news in, a, in something that happened with the company. And then there's an urgency where the professionals have to sell out of it and immediately get out. Okay? So an action is being forced by participants of the stock. People that are long the stock or people that are short the stock, whatever their position is, they're being forced to do something with the gap, whether it's a gap up or a gap down. 
And this is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to train because you're trading on the side of the power. And like I said, you just trade on the co coattails of them and that's how you make money. Now, I was saying earlier, one of the good things about trading this method in the open is you can book profits quickly. Whatever you want to do, whether you want to get out of half, a quarter, the whole thing, you can book profits extremely quickly doing this so you don't have to sit around and waste time all day to 4 o'clock. First of all, the volatility happens in the morning. 80% of the volatility happens into the open. Sometimes stock will bleed and go all day lower or rally higher into the close, but that is very, very rare. It is so rare that it's not worth sitting here at desk at 4 o'clock. If it was, I would, okay, but it isn't. And the beauty of this is that obviously if you have other things to do with your life, you can get on and do other things. So, you know, you can trade in the morning and be done very quickly. And also that's the time of the day when you're going to get the move to pay you anyways. So it's not like you're really giving up anything not trading the afternoon, okay? And this is any time of the year from January to December. So you're booking money quickly. Booking money quickly helps you because it actually helps your own uh, way to go into the train, take the risk, because you know, I'm not going to be in this that long. I'm not going to be in this thing that long. I, as soon as I take it, you're almost like, I'm up. We're going to get ready to look where we're going to get out. As soon as you take it, you get in, you put the stop in, you're looking to see where are we getting out. I mean, it helps you. It gives your P&L a boost and your confidence a boost as a trader if you can take a trade and be up money immediately. I mean, I cannot tell you how good this is for people that are new. And I, since I've been teaching new people, it really makes a big difference. It also gives your confidence a boost if you know what to watch ahead of the open. You will save loads, loads of time and stress of having to filter and scan stocks into the open if you have determined what to watch ahead of time. A lot of people will scan stuff into the open. They'll find something, they'll scan on their scan of their platform and after 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, well then it's too late. The setup's gone, the risk reward is gone, it's already gone, okay? It saves you time and stress if you just figure it out before the open. So how do you do this with a method that pinpoints what stocks to watch and what direction to trade them? You have your list or your top pick, I usually have one top pick, you're ready to go and then you watch it to set up and you trade it. You just watch it set up and you trade it and you see if it immediately fails, you see if it immediately sets up and you see if it's going to work right away into the open. Once you get good at the method, trading becomes relaxing, not stressful. Last week, the last two weeks were so relaxing. It was almost like I would just get up in the morning, find something I liked immediately. I was hardly even looking for that many things. Like, it would be like, oh, that's perfect. Let's just do it. And I mean, it was like literally that relaxing. And I would just take the trade and let it go. I mean, once you get into a groove and the better you get, trading becomes relaxing. It is stressful to trade a million different symbols. It is stressful to scan quickly, quickly, quickly into the open from 9.30 to 10 and then 10 o'clock you're rushed around to take a trade and then you have to watch the market and you have to know what to do. That's stressful. It is not stressful being prepared. Being prepared takes away the stress, okay, and it helps you get conviction. So I've developed a method called the Golden Gap 26-point rating system to narrow down before the open what stocks to watch to trade. So it pinpoints what to watch in the open, A, B, C, or D, whichever one it is. I like to have a top pick, and sometimes I have two top picks, and then I watch them into the open. They still have to confirm into the open they're going to work, okay? So you still have to watch it. There are thousands of stocks out there. How do you find the ones with the gaps you like? I have to go through them. I have to go through them, KW. That's what JT was asking me. How do you do it? You can get a scanner if you want to. But actually, my platform has a scanner. And since you pay for the platform, you may as well use the free one that comes with it. If you don't have a free one with it, which I wouldn't know why you wouldn't, because almost everybody does, but if you wouldn't, then you'd have to get a scanner. Yes. But, I mean, I actually, I'm, you probably have one. You have to call the platform place, okay? I'm sure you have one. I'd be shocked if you didn't have one. So I've developed a system, this method, this method to know what to trade before the open, and I use a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And that's how I do it. That's how I know what to watch. So having a system also helps you focus 100% on one thing. Now, this was one from, I think it was last week. Yeah, this was last week. DWA, <clears throat> this was on the 30th. If you know what to watch, you will stick with it. This stock actually got down. I loved it. I liked it. I liked it. Okay. But it didn't go right away. But I knew it was fine. 
And I knew how to read this. And I knew that there wasn't anything wrong with this. And I knew it was still a short. And if you don't know how to read this, you might short this, buy this, and short it again, and buy it again, and have no idea. I had 100% conviction, 100% focus, because of my rating system that told me this was good. So when the stock booped over the high of the day and had this big green bar, I stayed in the trade. I was already in it. I stayed in it. I didn't kill it, and I didn't get stopped out. I stayed with the trade. You could have even taken more. Dropped, broke. I stayed with it here, stayed with it here, stayed with it here, stayed with it here, broke on down. So it helps you have a focus if you have a system. If you don't have a system, you don't have any focus. You're shorting a stock and buying a stock in the same symbol. You're doing five different things, and you're obviously not taking size because it's hard to take size in a trade if you don't have conviction or focus. So quickly booking money helps your P&L, but it really helps your confidence level, and you need your confidence level if you want to trade with size. Now, let's talk about risk to reward here a little bit before we get into the examples. It's a good idea to try to go into every trade with the thought process that you're going to make one to three. Three is your goal. Okay. Now, for every dollar you risk, you should have a goal of three, minimum. Now, there will be trades where you make more than three. There will be some where you only make one, but you need to have the potential of it to go to three, which means the target. You would look for the stock to go to the target to make three. Now, there are times when a stock will go to a dream target, then you're making 10 or more. Some stocks don't go to the full targets, and then you might make only one to one or one to two. The goal is to find a highly rated gap that has the potential to make a big move of the quality setup. I always take a gap with a risk to reward potential of three or more. And also, this has to do with the conviction, because if you took DWA here and you killed this trade before it broke, you didn't have the risk to reward payout. You didn't get the payout, but you know what? If you took it right, you did. So again, focus, conviction, focus, conviction, focus. And what gives me that is the rating system. Okay. Uh, let's look at the examples here. JT is asking, instead of actually buying or shorting the equity stock, I'm sure you can just do the options right. You can if you want to. I don't teach people how to do options. But since the 26-point rating system tells you directional bias, could you do an option in it? Yes. You'd have to know how to do the option. Uh, I personally am not doing that. Okay. I'm day trading the stock. But if you learn the rating system and want to do the option instead, you can. There are people in the room that sometimes day trade them and do the option with me. <clears throat> some people are only doing the option. Some people are only doing the equity. Some people are doing both. That's up to you. Okay, so let's look at EDU. Again, a nice gap, a gap I liked. I had conviction. I rated the gap. It was a good gap. Stock closed the night before up here 24.12. Open the next day down here 22 something. This stock fell off a planet here into the open. And actually, I teach this in the class, how to read this correctly. This is actually how I name my company. This is a swoosh. This is called a stock swoosh. Okay? So I actually didn't play this. Uh, it, it happened so fast, I didn't pull the trigger in time to even get it. I literally pff, missed it. This thing here, from here to here, was two bucks. Some people in the room got it. But I was right on top of this thing watching it. Anyways, it rallied back. Took the setup here, now it dropped a dollar in here. Beautiful trade. So the price, this is the second entry now, not the first one. The first one fell $2 though. Price is $21.44, risk is $0.30. Cents. You must use similar risk every time you take a position. This is a subject for another lecture, but I think it's something important that I'm going to have to start talking more about because people don't realize it really is, is very essential that you use a common risk amount, that you set this for yourself, okay? Exit is a buck. A buck into itself, boom, and it dropped on down. Total profit, if you took 2,000 shares, was almost $2,000. It's a dollar. It's a good move. Risk to reward is 3.3. Again, very quality. Quality, quality, quality. Buying power required is 42,880. This is very good. This isn't even the buying power is the amount of leverage the broker is giving you. This is a very good amount of buying power. This isn't even too much, too high, too big. This is realistic, okay? And the trade worked right into the open. You're watching it. You see the setup. Here it drops. You could have done that one. Then it rallies back. Then you do this one. Boom. You're all out of this thing by 10 o'clock, 10.05. Okay. How do you know to watch it? 26-point rating system. How do you know it's okay to take it to short it? You watch the open and how it trades. And you take the setup. Okay. And you got to know what one to do. Now, I want to point out here that this was the day that I did it. This one here. That's the picture I just showed you. This is a daily chart. That was the one minute. 
look what the stock did afterwards. This had a great move of the day. It was a beautiful move of the day. It was a good short. It went to the dream target in a swing trade. Now, this could have gone to the dream target as a day trade down and broke 19 on this day. It did not do it. It was good, though. It was great. Made money, but it could have gone here in the day. Sometimes they do that. It did it on the swing trade, okay? Beautiful follow-through, nice follow-through, and you can get these kinds of moves, again, in gaps. So you can do swing trades with this. And if you were talking about somebody who was asking about the options, look, you know, you could hold it on through for this, okay? And you get a bigger move. Again, I've never done futures either, KW. I've only ever traded a uh, day traded equity. So I don't know if you could do it with futures or not. I can ask some of my clients if they've ever done it. Me personally, I haven't. If you, you're looking at the gap, and that's how you're picking it, what to watch, and then you're watching the open, which is right into the 930. Now, the stock did have a move again after the fact. So let's go back here. Here was the first move down in here. Here was the next move on this day, and here was the next move on this day, okay? Really great quality setups in this stock. If you follow through, you could have played this three days in a row. You could have done nothing but this for three days in a row. So now you're watching this the next day in there. You're waiting. You're like, I know it's going to go to the dream target. It's going to go in a swing trade. I'm going to day trade. I'm going to watch it every day for the follow through. Stock opens, drops, rallies back, holds. You take this and short this in here, and here's the move on one of the other days in there. You see it? Beautiful move. How do you know you get the confirmation right into the open? As soon as I'm seeing this here, I'm reading this. Again, if you don't know what to look for, you're thinking this is not going to work. And if you don't know what to look for, you're thinking you're going to buy it. And if you don't know what to look for, you don't know to do this. As soon as I see this, I say it's good. Boom. Okay? And this is a follow-through on the original play from the original day of the original guy. Price in this entry here was actually a better, better risk to reward. 2040, risk is 20 cents. You can take another 1,000 shares. You take 3,000 if you risk 600. Exits 19 actually dropped and broke broke 19. That was the target. That was the dream target on the day of the gap. This is the follow through. Total profit, $4,200. Risk to reward, seven times the risk to reward. Buying power, 61.2. This is, again, very reasonable. So how do you make six figures a year? A $2,000 trade, a $4,000 trade, a $1,000 trade. You, you add it up and chunk out a month like this, okay, by taking proper entries, looking for good quality gaps, okay? You're chunking out the amounts of money that would build up your month by taking quality trades like this. And you need quality trades like this in order to pay for your commissions to the broker, your platform fees if you have them, for a trading room. You know, all of these things, you need to be making money. And then on top of that, you have to pay yourself. So you've got to have good quality trades. Now, I clipped this here because I wanted to talk about indicators because so many people use what I call needless indicators, things that are you don't, you don't need. You don't need, you don't know why you use them. You couldn't even explain them to someone. If you pulled someone off the street and you would try to explain this to them, you may not be able to explain this to a person on the street. And if the person on the street saw it, person on the street probably wouldn't know how to read this. I can explain to a person on the street what is going on here. Even if they never traded before in their life, I could say, boom, boom, boom. I could explain everything in this chart, and I could tell them what it is. Many people use these indicators. I don't know what they mean. They can't explain to people, and, and, and regular people can understand them. It's just common sense breaking it down that the only thing you really need to be watching when you trade is price. And what happens is with indicators, we get so focused and your mind gets taken off what you should be looking at, which is the price. And many times you have so many indicators in your charts, you can't even see the darn price. And then that's really a problem if you can't even see it. Uh, Nick Nick has a question. If we can only afford trading 200 or so shares rather than 2,000, is it worth using our system? You'll still make money, Nick Nick, but you obviously would not make as much money as you would if you would uh, trade 2,000 shares. But if you're new and you have a small account, you have to use the amount of money and trade what you can. You have to work with what you can. If you can prove to yourself that you could good, get good with doing this, however long it takes you to do that, you will be able to, over time, risk more. Why? Because your confidence level will be higher. You will know that you can make the money, and you will be able to do bigger size over time. If you can only afford to take 200 shares now, then that's all that you can afford to take. You can still make money doing it, whether you take 100 shares or 1,000 shares or 10,000 shares. 
Obviously, the more shares you take, the more you can make, but you can still make money. You would just make the same risk to reward, but dollar for dollar, it would be less for dollars and cents, but the risk to reward would still be three to one. If you took 100 shares of something and it went a dollar, you'd make 100 bucks. That's still 100 bucks. 100 bucks is 100 bucks, or 200 bucks if you took 200 shares and something moved a dollar, like in this one here. Okay, it was more than a dollar, this, all right? So you have to take the risk in a four. 20 cent risk, if you took 200 shares, is how much? Quickly, quickly, I'm quizzing you. Somebody tell me. Gosh, there's people in my trading room have so much trouble with size. How many shares can you take? No one's even answering me. If your risk is 20 cents, you gotta, you gotta know how to do this. You gotta know how to do this right now. This is arithmetic, simple arithmetic. 20 cents, nobody's even answering me. There's gotta be somebody here, Philip, anybody. Somebody from my trading room, how many? How many shares can you take? No one's answering me. <laughs> Ray saying 40 shares. No, you can take more than 40 shares. If you if you take or, or how much? Forty dollars. Two hundred shares is forty dollars. Yes, yes. Two hundred shares is forty dollars. You're risking. Don B says a thousand. Yes, loss amount. That's correct. So if you would take 200 shares of this, Nick Nick, you would be risking 40 bucks. Okay. Now, if the stock moves a dollar, you would make 200 bucks and you risked only 40. That's pretty good, Nick Nick. You see? And it went more than that. So, and if you were took a thousand, if you took a thousand Don B, it'd be 200. 200 bucks. And you'd make more than a thousand. You would have made fourteen hundred bucks. You would have risked two hundred bucks to make fourteen hundred bucks. That's good. That's a good risk to reward trade. Okay. Um, let me answer another question here before I go on to talk more about indicators. You sell puts, but actually never shorted. Only use puts. Inverse ETFs. Can you explain the margin requirement, for instance, on EDU sixty k needed, but is similar to margin requirements? Are you talking about? You're talking about options again, I think, JT. You're going to have to talk to the broker about requirements for buying power for margin for options. I've never traded them. So you're going to have to ask the broker about that. When I trade an ETF or a stock, it, it, it sucks up the same buying power for me. If I trade the QQQs and the strike price of the QQQs is 90 bucks, it takes up that amount out of my share size. If I take 1,000 shares, it would be 90 grand. So I don't know what it is for the margin requirements are for options. And I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. What is your attitude on SIM trading? I think at the beginning, if you don't know how to trade on a platform, you got to practice on a SIM. Could be a couple days, could be a week. But you can't take a live trade without ever having taken a live trade before. If you've already traded before and you know how to trade, actually pressing the buttons, then you can trade live after you take my class and actually trade small size but you still have to actually practice on a demo, even for a day to know how to put in a stop. Because what if you take the train, you know how to put in a stop. I mean, you have to be able to know how to short it and put in a stop or buy a stock and put in a stop. So let's go back to indicators here. Why do people rely so much on indicators? In today's electronic trading world, people rely heavily on indicators. There are so many places that sell programs and systems and indicators that are designed to help you with signals to tell you the exact entry and exit. But if there was such a thing, we would, wouldn't we all have it? I mean, this is just common sense. If there was such a great signal platform out there, program, system, indicator, anything that would tell us exactly where to take the train, exactly where to put the exit, wouldn't we all have it? And by the way, if we would, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. There's only one winner in a trade. There's only ever one winner. When you take a trade and you make money, somebody else on the opposite end loses. When I take a trade and I make money, somebody on the opposite end loses. There's only one winner in a trade, and there is just no magic indicator or signal machine or anything that you can buy to tell you a signal that's going to tell you where to take a trade and what direction. It just doesn't exist. Becoming a successful trader is something you need to learn. You've got to learn it. I mean, I'm here to tell you, you must learn it. You have to learn it and apply yourself to learn it. People like to rely on indicators because they don't know what to do. They're unsure of themselves, mostly, okay? And they lack knowledge and conviction. The true path, though, to success is to get the right knowledge, and then you gain the conviction, and then you can trade. Once you come to grips and come to terms with the fact that you're going to have to, this is a process, you're going to have to learn to do it, you're going to, that you're going to have, oh, the gates are going to open wide for you, okay? You must learn how to trade to make money. There is no magic pill, okay? And even if you take my class, you're going to, you're going to have to learn. You're going to learn what I teach you, and you don't take a pill. 
Okay? You're going to learn what I would teach you how to do this, and you got to learn it. All right? It's one of these things that people want to make money in the market, but you have to apply yourself. It's just like if you want to go to law school and you want to pass the bar after you graduate in law school. Well, you have to study, okay? So there's no magic indicator that's going to tell you what to do. If you don't use all the indicators you have on your charts, how we know what to watch, how we know what to do, how do you know when to take something, when this moving average intersects with this one, it does this, you have the golden gap system. You get the gap. You rate the gap. You rate the gap for the 26-point system, and if it's good, then you watch it to do the short, for example, okay, this was another one here, this was BYD, this is Friday. And you don't have any indicators on here with Fibonacci's or things. In fact, you have no indicators even around this. All the moving averages I even have as indicators are far from this. How do you know what to do with this? You are actually rating the gap. We're looking at the price the stock is opening on the day. And you do this all ahead of time before the market even opens. Now here was another one, this was P. This was the end of July as well. Again, a good gap. Stock closed up here at 28.80, opened down here at 25.40, open rally. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful entry in this. Again, into the open, into the open, into the open. If you take this here right away and short the stock and put the stop over the right place, it drops a dollar. If you wait, if you waited, and you waited and waited and waited, it never set up. Never set up again. The only setup was here, and you could have taken a late one here, but again, into the open. You missed the whole move, 100% of the move you missed, actually, if you did not short this into the open. And it was a good gap, so you could watch it to short. Price of the entry was $25.75. Risk is $0.10. Cents. Great risk in this. Beautiful, beautiful stop. Again, you're, you're, you're getting the gap. You're getting the gap, so you get the confirmation of the gap, so you can take the trade into the open. Again, a dollar move. Total profit, you could have made over six grand on this. So obviously, you can see how the money can really start to add up. Huge trade here, 12 times the risk to reward. Why? Because the stock went to the target. They don't all do that, but when they do, they're nice trades. Buying power required is a little bit more for this one because of the cost. For uh, 141,625, and also you took more size, but you could because it stopped. So if you want to risk $100, you can take how much? A thousand. $200, two thousand. Two thousand and moves a dollar. That's two thousand bucks. Okay. And again, the trade worked right into the open. So how can you learn how to trade stocks like P, the class? The class I teach is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches this 26-point rating system that I use to find the best stocks to trade each day. And by golly, I do. <laughs> I do. The course also teaches you how to play the stock as a day trade. The course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis at an advanced level. Long-term trading potential for swing and core trades also exists in highly rated gaps. Uh, like I showed you there, you could have done that one down into the drop on EDU, and there's other ones. Now, why learn this method? Why do it? Well, I've been trading gaps into the open for six years. Before I developed my method, I tried many different types of ways to trade in the market. Okay, I tried a lot of different strategies, figuring out, playing around with them, seeing what would work. I found that no other strategy gave me the conviction to take risk, like, like, I, like what I'm trading gaps, like nothing else that I felt like I could take the size of the risk. Gaps have so much power, momentum, and volatility, and I would see them move. And so many other things were, were like snails. Spotting what institutions are doing with the stock in the open is an advanced skill that you can learn from me. Learning how to see whether a stock will be a long or short or a fail on the day is important to make profits because you don't want to take the stock in the wrong direction and you don't want to buy and short something in the same symbol on the same day. That's you know a nightmare for your commissions, and it does nothing for your level of conviction, and you can't trade like that. I also do it because I'm looking for the follow-through. And I saw the longer-term quality that gaps were making when I started out trading gaps. And it's all due to the institutional buying and selling. Okay, So this is a, one of the good reasons to learn it. Melissa, how can you trade quickly if you're rating a gap in a 26-point criteria? I do it all before the open. I'm rolling out of bed at the crack of dawn. I start the trading room at 8.30. I prep for one hour before the open. Sometimes it doesn't take me an hour. Sometimes it takes me a whole hour. I'm doing everything before the open, Ray. So that's exactly how I know to watch P. That's exactly how I know to watch EDU. That's exactly how I know to watch something. Now, why learn from me? Because I have an edge in my ability to be able to accurately read directional bias in a stock 
due to my 26 point rating system. 26 points is a lot of things to look at in analyzing the daily chart of a stock. So I'm prepping beforehand. I'm not doing it in the open, I'm doing it beforehand. So you have time to do it. You still have time to do it though in an hour. I have an amazing ability to correctly read a stock within minutes of it opening or even seconds of it opening at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And this is what you would learn from me. I am able to do this so well so many days because of my ability to read gaps. How am I able to read that open to read an immediate Trade setup or failure because of my ability to read gaps. Because the gap reading gives me the confirmation. Okay? I can pinpoint what to watch and what will work. All pre market. Before the stock market opens, I'm doing this pre market. I'm not taking a pre market, I'm taking it in the open, but I'm reading a pre market. And I have an edge in my gap analysis and many hours of experience into trading the open. I, I have traded nothing but this for years this time of the day. And I also have a great eye for reading price, which is how you're going to train. That's how you're going to make money. This is a skill that you can learn from me. And the advantage of learning from me is that I'm good at it. And you will learn from an expert. And I'm an expert at trading the open. And I'm an expert at trading gaps. I'm an expert at reading price. And that's how you're going to make money as a trader. You're not going to make money as a trader buying something that's going to give you signals, putting extra indicators on your charts. In fact, it's going to take away from your ability to do that. Many people shy away from trading the open or have no idea how or traded incorrectly. And yet this time of the day is so much valuable information in it. It's like reading into like a looking glass where you can see how am I able to see what something's going to happen ahead of time? How am I able to see what the market's going to do? How am I able to see that right now the SPY is going to go to 200 sometime soon? I don't know. The day that it does it, I'll probably see it the day before when it's going to do it. Okay? How am I able to do this because I'm reading gaps? And my ability to read this time frame quickly gives me an edge. And you will have a chance to learn this edge from me if you learn from me and if you learn my method. So that's the reason to learn from me. You're learning from someone that's really good at something that she does. And this is trading the open and trading gaps. Yes, KW, you can email me. The other value of learning from me is that I'm, I'm mentoring people. You can call me on the phone. You can ask me a question. You can email me. Okay, this is something that a lot of places don't offer. You can talk to me. I will answer your questions. You have a question about a gap or a train, <clears throat> you know, you can pick up a phone and I'll help mentor you. I'm very good at pinpointing things that people are doing right or people that are doing wrong. And because I, I know I've been through the process myself personally. So in the end, time is important. If you have Someone you can go to like me to teach you something and learn it and help mentor you, it matters. It's extremely important, okay? And a lot of people say, well, you know, what about teaching, you know? And the thing is that everyone should be grateful that there's people like me that are willing to teach what they know how to do. Do you have any idea if you didn't have people that were willing to teach people how to trade right, what you'd have to do to ever make it? You'd never make it. I suffered and had a hard time trading my own money to figure this stuff out, okay? And I relied on myself. Most people could not do that, could not go through the process to develop a system on their own with their own live money because that's how you do it. So if there weren't people like me that were willing to teach you or other people, the people, my students, how to trade something accurately and well, everyone would be able to have to fend for themselves. And there would be even less people that are successful in the market than there are now. Even less. And there's not that many people that are successful now. So it's an opportunity to learn from me because I'm not going to be teaching people forever. I'm young and single and I'm doing it now and it's fun and I trade live, but I'm not going to do it forever. And you know, people should be grateful that I'm willing to teach what I know. Because, you know, if there weren't people like me out there teaching this stuff, you'd have to do it yourself. And many people wouldn't do it. And many people would never figure it out. In fact, I don't know one person that I even know that is a trader like me that could have gone through what I did to figure this stuff out. But that's why the stuff I figured out is so good, because I pushed myself and pushed myself and pushed myself to a level of perfection to figure this out. 26 things is a lot of things to figure out to pinpoint stuff, but that's why I get it right so many days. Of the 200 trading days in the year, I mean, my ability to be able to pinpoint what something's going to do and read that in the open is just second to none. Second to none. Okay? So your time is important, and when you come to me and if you decide to come to me to pay to take the class, it's because your time is valuable and you don't want to waste time spending years figuring it out like I did. And you also probably won't be able to do it because it's a tough road. It's a long road. And you got to be a strong personality that you have to have a lot of money to do it.
You have to have your own money to do it. You have to be able to bankroll yourself. And time is valuable. You want to get to the point where you say, you know what? I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy my retirement. I want to think about my retirement. I want to be able to retire before I'm, you know, 70. So many people now are working, working, working. They have no savings. You could trade in the morning and still work. You could work your regular job and just retire early. I mean, you have a lot of different options. Financial freedom is also very valuable. For you to go on vacations, do other things with your life, spend money doing other stuff. Trading is a career choice. It's one you must take seriously. It's a time commitment for you as far as the learning process and the money it costs to take a class. And you got to take it seriously. If you're not going to take it seriously, I mean, why do it? I can tell right away when I talk to people if they're serious or not. And, you know, it, it, it's so fabulous when I meet people that are serious because I'm like, these people are going to get it. This person's going to get it. I, I, I know that when I talk to someone, like, this person's going to make it because they're serious about doing it. They want to do it. Self-empowerment is valuable. And this is where, again, going back to the wave of the future, I was talking about this at the beginning of the lecture today, you have got to empower yourself because you never know where you're going to be tomorrow. It's a changing world that we live in. All you have to do is turn on the news, watch it for five minutes, ten minutes, and you're like, what? I mean, look at the world that we live in today. You have got to empower yourself to take charge of your own life. And trading the market is one of these things. So study and learn how to comprehend price. It is extremely important. What are the underlying principles behind why you're taking a trade? If you're trading now, you've got to know the reason. What is the framework for buying something, the framework for selling something, the framework for shorting something? Having a checklist is like your own set of principles. It's a blueprint to follow the stock correctly, and you've got to learn how to trade it. And also stop second-guessing yourself. If you have a system that says 20 points or more, you're going to watch to trade it on the day, then you just do it. You stop the guessing. It takes out the guesswork for yourself. So my class teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. It teaches you what direction to take it. It teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. It's taking away the guessing work from you. You find the gaps in the morning. You rate them. You watch the ones that rate 20 points or more. Here's another example here. This was one. This is a while ago, back in April, Pran. Many people, I'm sure, thought Pran was a long. Pran was not a long the day the gap was a short. Continue the next day, gap down again as a short. And look at what the stock is at today. It's at $2.19. Never went anywhere to fill the gap or do anything high. Pran was a good rate of gap. Pran was a good bearish gap that is held for four months, five months, even with the gap down like that. Look at that. Okay? You got to learn how to reprice correctly. How do you do this? You learn the system. You start making money. That gives you the confidence. You get the conviction and you proceed. Now we're talking here about making six figures a year. How much do you have to risk? About $250, I'd say, per trade. So this is called a risk unit. If you get really good, you can risk $200, but you'd be having to hold a lot of trades to target for that. $250 is a good amount. If you get two hours, it's $500. If you get three hours, it's $750. If you get a stock that moves a dollar and you risk $250 and you have enough shares to get a buck out of it, you could make $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 in a trade. Okay? like some of the trades I showed you here today. So just to break it down, okay, say you were wanting to take 150, this is intermediate, now you're getting up to advanced, and this is even more advanced up here if you were risking this amount. So you're getting to the point where you can make $2,500 a week, okay, that's 130 grand a year. That's $500 a day. Okay, so that's two hours for the 250 risk, which is realistic. Some will be more than two hours, some will be three, some will be four, some will be ten. Once in a while, you're going to take a loss, okay? And then this covers it because of the ones that win. But this is how you get to the amount of money. To be able to make $39,000 a year extra income working part-time is good. This is if you're only risking 150. And to be able to make 130 working part-time hours is great. You're only trading into the open. That is a great living. To make $130,000 a year, Getting up at 8.30 in the morning, prepping from 8.30 to 9.30, trading from 9.30 to 10, 10, 15 for less than two hours of work every day. That is a great life. That's, that's, that's a great life. Okay. And so I'll answer all your questions at the end here because I want to get through all this. Everybody, I see them. So I've been reading this market. I'm the real deal. I trade. It's a strategy you can use for longer-term trades. This is the BBBY. Beautiful gap of BBBY happened back here in January. Because short of this is 73. Stock came all the way down to 55. Took six months. Beautiful swing trade, though. So why take the Golden Gap course to learn a strategy you can use to make money in the market that offers momentum? You're trading gaps. You're going to learn technical analysis. 
You're going to learn how to trade on multiple time frames. You're going to learn how to reprice patterns. Okay. You're going to learn how to find the targets. And not only that, it's a career that you can do from home. One important key factor in becoming a successful trader is keeping in mind the bigger picture while living in the now. Someone said he loves to come to my things. It was Dave. I don't know if Dave's here tonight. He loves to come to my stuff. And he said, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. I don't have the time to take the class. You got to make the time. You make the time, it, you know, it, it'll come together for you. You've got to live in the now with your daily decisions, but keep the bigger picture in mind of where you want to go and who you want to become and what your goals are. Because if you are stuck in the now, you'll never see the future come together if you're always waiting for the perfect time. You've got to keep the bigger picture in mind. If you have regular everyday things, if they consume your thoughts, you're never going to reach the bigger picture goal. Training is a career choice and a lifestyle choice in the bigger picture. Many people struggle to remember the bigger picture goals and dreams during their day-to-day -day activities. And if you keep waiting until you have time or the perfect moment, guess what? It never comes. It never comes. It's 2015, you didn't have time. It's 2016, you didn't have time. It's five years later, you didn't have time, okay? It never comes. You got to look at where you see yourself in a year and a five years from now. Time flies. In less than six months, it's going to be the holidays. Every moment you're living, you're breathing, time is going. You have to decide if you want to commit yourself to learning something for your future. And many people have jobs. They're like, well, I'm happy with my job today. But again, self-empowerment, what if something would happen in two months, three months, six months, a year? If you learn how to trade, you know how to do it. So it's about taking the class, learning how to train in the Golden Gap course. You could be in a demo. If you're brand new, you could be in a demo for a month. If you're not brand new, you could be in a demo for a couple days or a week. You start a trading account with a beginner risk, move to intermediate, then advanced. Then you have a plan of action to achieve your desired monetary monthly goal on a quarterly basis for the first year and then annually after that. And if you want to trade for career, then you need a plan of action how to do it. Okay? So the class teaches the strategy, the entries, the exits, how to trade the open, and how to get conviction in the market as a place to make money. A full two-day course on how to strategically find pick and play stocks through the professional gaps is the Golden Gap class. Retakes are free. The class is online. It's this coming weekend, August 9th and 10th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm doing a special bonus third day for this class. Same price, $29.99. On August 11th, on the Monday, we're going to trade in the morning live from 8.30 to 11. And then from 12 to 3, we're going to do Golden Gap Review Session. We're going to go back and redo ratings so that happened in the last month. That's going to be very educational for people right after doing the class. If you're interested, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I also teach another class called the Trends Course. It's a course on how to read trends and stock charts. This is September 23rd and 24th from 12 to 4. Price of this class separate is $9.99. However, I'm offering a special for this month. If you want to do two classes, you will save $499. So both together at the combo price for August is $34.99. So you do the gap class this weekend in August, 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then you do the class September 23rd and 24th for the trends class. That helps you read longer term trends, which actually helps you become a better day trader and a good for swing and overnight trading. Also, I'm doing a special for those of you that are on my email list, everyone that's here. I'm going to run some contests next week. It's Shark Week. And I love Shark Week. <laughs> so I'm going to do some contests. So be watching the emails. Read all your emails next week. I'm going to be celebrating Shark Week. Thank you, everyone. Okay, let me see some questions here. We have two minutes. Uh, let me just see here. You can, if you want to day trade actively, and if you want to have a retail brokerage account and day trade actively, which means you can be in and out as many times as you want, Monday through Friday, as many days as you want in a month, the minimum requirement for a retail brokerage account is 25000 If you want to trade at a proprietary day trading firm, you have to contact one. There's hundreds out there. Talk to them and find out their specific requirements. I am not a brokerage firm. I'm not a prop firm. Prop firms will allow you to trade their leverage, which they give you more leverage than a retail account, and you can put up less money. Some you can only put up $2,500 and they'll give you leverage to trade. They uh, determine how much you're allowed to risk per day. They monitor you, but that's good discipline for people, and you don't have to have the $25,000. You have to contact proprietary day trading firms on your own and ask them specific questions. Uh, Ray, what are your average win-loss percentage and win-loss ratio? You know, as far as day trading, I have a very high percentage of picks that I get. I say 70%, over 70%. 
in the longer term, it's higher. I'm not actually doing overnight, so. I mean, there are many times where I will rate a gap, and if for some reason the gap doesn't work right on the day, it ends up working the next day. So that if I had done a swing trade or core trade in it, I would have gotten the fall through and would have never taken a loss in it. But I'm not taking overnights. So it's like over 90% for longer term because I'm reading the directional bias of the professionals that are in these stocks that are taking big professional entries or exits, depending if they're longs or shorts, okay? So I am looking at reading that bias that's made by institutions. So it has a high uh, directional bias follow through of working, not just on the day, but for the longer term. Let me see if I got all the other questions. Okay, if you have any more questions, it looks like it's 5.30 here, email me, melissa at thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information, there's my email. Feel free to email if you have other questions because we're done with the time here. You're welcome, Ray. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. You can give me a call or email me. Not a problem. Very interesting way to trade. Think about the things I said tonight. Uh, and, and most importantly, really consider what I was saying about empowering yourself to make some changes in your life. You wait for the perfect moment to learn to trade or make any career change or do anything. You know, it never comes. And, and you've got to get to that point with yourself. And I'm speaking 100% from experience because at the time that I realized that I need to make a career change, I was doing mortgages. I'll say this one quick thing. I'll let everybody go. I was doing mortgages and, you know, I, 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 I was not happy doing it. And I didn't push myself to find another career. And you know what? Then the bank bailout happened. Then all the crap hit the fan and all these mortgage companies were going under. And then I was forced to find a different career and had to do it. If I had learned something to do way before that, when I was unhappy with my mortgage job, if I had chosen to do it then, I would have been in a much better position. I already would have been trading. I would have been trading for 10 years. Okay? So I'm speaking from experience when I say these things to people. Okay? A real experience that I have had. All right. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Yes. Yes, Don. It's, it's re recorded. All right. Sounds good. Email me and I'll send you the recording. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much, Online Trader Central. Thanks.